All right, everyone. So it's kind of going to be a somewhat of a longer video, probably. Right now, I am under a sink, and what I'm going to do is make a humidifier I never need to fill, and it'll sit right out here through the wall. Uh, one trick will be getting. I'm going to have to tee off and make another line. This is my cold line, and I have went ahead and turned it off. I gotta finish uh, twisting the line off now that runs up to the sink. But one of the tricks is gonna be once I tee that off, um, getting the line to run. See, there's drawers here. And make it maybe stay up against the wall so it's not impeding. And then it's gonna actually go through this wall right here outside. And I have this little valve. This is a, like a float valve. Toilets have them too, like in the back of a, in the tank part of a toilet. You know, like the float up and down. This is just a different one I got on Amazon. This will shut off once once water hits the bottom of it. And I'm gonna fit it into the humidifier, into the tank, just like that. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But first thing first, now that I have this water off on the cold, I have to finish unscrewing this off. T-piece, and hopefully it is uh, the right sizes. But this should allow me to hook it on back there and then have my line still going off to the sink and then one off to the humidifier. All right, so now I have the T. You can see this is the line that was hooked on to that valve. Here's a T that I have screwed on here now. And right there, I'll be able to have my line going out to the humidifier. And then I should be able to hook this line right back up on so top of this. So it is now teed off from the valve coming out of the wall. That one goes up to the sink. And then here's my new spot to run my new line that'll go out to there the humidifier. There is a valve and this valve will control only the line that goes to the humidifier for like, uh, since you pretty well only need to use them low humidity in the winter I want to be able to shut this off and um, Not have to worry about the humidifier even if I wanted to later on uh, Through the rest of the year So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna hook it on Back here onto this T. Here now I have <coughs> the valve on I originally had two of these lines to be able to hook together But I think one of them is actually gonna be long enough to get out where I need to so I'm gonna go and I was gonna put the valve here scratch that I'm gonna go ahead and put the valve here and this longer line hopefully actually I'm still gonna have to hook them both together because this is like a sorry I don't know the sizes very well but this is the standard in one and see this one has a bigger like the half inch hook up on here to hook on to this and right here the wall of the humidifier is gonna go right onto this part there's a little valve and I just turned it on with this Line hooking up to it. I'm not seeing any leaks or feeling anything so far. Holding this line up here, and you can see I got turned it on. Here's some water coming out, and that valve will barely need to be open. I mean, humidifiers can use a lot of water, but compared to water flowing like this, I mean, just a small trickle for it to go into the humidifier is going to be. Well, be access door. I went ahead and outlined the back of it. What it'll do is it'll fit in here. I'm gonna let my line run through it. Might need to adjust my hole, but nope, it fits. You go in there, and it'll glue to the drywall, and then you can open it and for the line I'll probably slice a little round spot right there I don't know but that's where it at it's into the wall and then back in through there is back where the drawers are into this main hole the drywall with the access door and then through the inside of the drywall from the other side and then through the vanity you see in there that's where the line's gonna run through this door glued up here but now here is our line that is plenty long enough that comes from the sink you can see the drawers all closed it's kind of had to coil it up in the corner there this comes out and I'll also be able to use the inside of this wall to coil up any extra I don't need you just have enough hanging out to hook on there so that comes to the tank of our humidifier. So how this one works, and this is the one I'm gonna to recommend to anyone watching this video because of the shape. A lot of them are rounded, and that'd be really hard to make things seal. And I found all my pieces here. But this goes on top of it. Goes on top, this is the motor part. It has this little pump that pulls up the water from the tank. What I'm gonna do is come in from the inside here and have the elbow with the float valve in it. So I got this little deal. This is our, our half inch. It's actually going to hook into our elbow because this has to sit down in there like that. It can't be sideways or angles or nothing. It has to sit in there like that. 
So I've got my, my hole drilled out here. We should be able to get this in here just like that snugly. And we got about the same on both sides. These are actually for electrical conduit, but that's going to allow us to put these, these should thread on there, hopefully. And it'll help it hold it still. And I'll put one on the inside too, and that's gonna hold this there for us. Hopefully all this works and I'd like to do another one at some point. See I get those nice and tight on there. And we'll just like that. It's in there. Taking my half inch side of the line. And this will screw on right here. And again, I only have two lines due to the fact that I didn't think the one was gonna be long enough, which you can see it is. So I'll have to kind of coil some on the wall, but that's not gonna oh, be that's a problem. That's on there. We'll have to make our one final connection here. It's our shorter, so it's our half inch to our three eighths. And then there's a little coupling. It goes three eighths to three eighths. Put them together. I get these connections tightened and I'll turn it on, try it out, make sure it's going in. It's kind of one of the moment of truth scenarios. Just make sure that works and I'll watch it good. I'll just come down in here, turn on my little line. Again, it doesn't have to be very much. Wait a second for the water to start getting to the line and make sure nothing leaks. I already checked everything inside. All right, so water is dripping in there. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit so I can fill it up faster. Fill it up. All right, it's getting close to the bottom there. And I just heard the water shut off. Now yeah, plugged in. Didn't right to that. Got it pushed up against the wall. Humidity. The link to the description and everything on YouTube so you can make this happen yourself, especially this humidifier. A lot of them are rounded and you won't be able to get the pipe sealed in it good. So you want to get one like this, especially that has a big tank to be able to work with and everything. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if it helped. Subscribe for more awesome content. See you later. Bye-bye.